Hi everybody and welcome to Devotions Today. It's Thursday. I'm normally here on Monday, but you know, life changes. It's amazing with Jesus how he was always concerned that his disciples should be happy and that they should be at ease within themselves. I mean, that seems such a down-to-earth practical thing for the Son of God to be concerned about. But yet he was. He wanted them to be joyful. He said, these words I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. He wanted them to be at peace. He says, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Don't be worried. Don't be upset. Believe in God. Believe also in me. And then he wanted them also to know love. He loved them. He says, now love one another as I have loved you. Having loved his own, he loved them to the end is another way John puts it. Love, joy, peace. He wanted them to know that peace of mind. Yes, there were challenges. And there's a beautiful verse that expresses how much he wanted them to be um, at rest within themselves. He says, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light, and you will find rest for your souls. You know, sometimes we feel that life is such a burden and things are so heavy. And let's face it, there are some really, really tough things in life. But they can bring us down and make life miserable for us. What are these things? Well, there's so many. I just want to mention some. Usually we see something as a burden when we feel it's too much. It's too heavy for us to pick up. It's too heavy for us to carry. It's too much for us to do. And so we wake up in, in the morning and we're anxious. How are we going to handle all this stuff? You know? And one of the things we feel we're all on our own, that we're not strong enough or wise enough or uh, big enough to be able to handle these things. Also, another burden is sometimes we just feel we're not good enough. We have this feeling of guilt. I don't seem to get things right. I always seem to be putting my foot in it or don't I what to do in a particular situation. I don't get it right. And some things are, we feel are just beyond us. And that makes life burdensome. That makes it heavy. And Jesus comes with these words, says, look here, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. You will find rest for your souls. That's how he wants us <laughs> to be. You know, a yoke, obviously, is something that two oxen, um, share, and they pull the plow, or they pull the wagon with the, their necks underneath this yoke. Jesus says, my yoke is easy, and the reason it's easy is because he's the one who carries the weight that needs to be pulled. We just put our neck in there, and we just walk along with him as the one who gives us the strength and the ability, because Jesus carries the heavy load. And that's what he's trying to impart to us. You're not alone. You're not alone. Let me carry that load. Hand it over and listen to what I'm saying to you. Just trust me. Don't let your heart be troubled. Um, and he is with us. And nothing is impossible for him. There is no problem that's too big for Jesus. He doesn't expect you to carry the heavy burden all alone. And with that problem of guilt and not being good enough, he forgives you when you go the wrong way. And he gives you that peace in your heart. And also, he understands your frailty and he knows you're going to make mistakes, but he loves you anyway. Um, there's a lovely verse in John's, John's first letter, um, chapter 5, verse 3, where he writes, This is love for God, to obey his commands. And his commands are not burdensome. For everyone born of God overcomes 
of the world. Since his commands are not burdensome, they're meant to set us free, his way of love and joy and peace. So when life is becoming a burden and you feel you're just carrying the heavy end, just stop for a minute. What's Jesus saying to you? He says, come, have a rest, have a break. Take my yoke. I'm carrying the heavy end. My burden is light. Remember, I want to give to you joy and peace and love. Receive that gift from me today. I pray that you will know your burden lifted today and that you will find joy in living and peace in trusting Jesus and the love of God in your heart that you can share with others. May God bless you as you go into today and the days that lie ahead. And I'll see you on Monday.